Since the field of his missionary work is in Ukraine, while he himself is a Nigerian native, many are twice as shocked. He has dark skin and belongs to a full gospel evangelical church, one of the followers of which is President Bush and many other past enemies. What first seems incompatible, all of a sudden starts to work. Many Ukrainians were disappointed with the Orange Revolution and politics in general, so they are searching for new ideals. And since Pastor Sunday, besides preaching the gospel, also preaches material well-being, he doesn't lack listeners and followers. Nina Rock decided to have a closer look at Christians who live according to the Bible. Everyone is on their feet on Sunday afternoon here in the sports complex. They're singing and dancing with all their hearts. It looks like a rock concert and a performance of a superstar. Everybody rejoices here. Sunday Adelaja, who calls himself a pastor of this church, came from Nigeria. He has come here to the Orthodox Ukraine more than 10 years ago and he regularly drives everyone here into ecstasy. Here you can cleanse your soul, find Jesus and at the same time fall almost into trance. Pastor Sunday calls his church God's Embassy. According to his words, his church has more than 25,000 members in Kiev only. A Kubishkin family is also a part of this church. Natasha and her husband attend all of Pastor Sunday's sermons. Most of his sermons are like school lessons. Brothers and sisters, how can we recognize a God-fearing person? Not because he goes to church or he knows me personally, says Pastor Sunday. But you will know him by his deeds. The Kubishkins adopted little Samuel six months ago. They're proud of their new democratic country, and they don't see any contradiction in this. With their two older daughters that took part in the Orange Revolution, they are very proud for their new republic. Pastor is always present in their home. He is our role model, they say. They have been members of his church for seven years. Their daughters are also taking an active part in their faith. They don't drink alcohol, don't smoke cigarettes and no sex before marriage. The other sign of a God-fearing person is being successful and earning money. I am a member of the 1000 Club, the club of Christian millionaires. And all of us want to become millionaires in two or three years. And I am confident that I will reach this goal because God loves those who are successful. Victor made up his mind to become rich by selling massage and beds with special stones that radiate with infrared rays that help the body heal itself faster. All you need to do is believe. Before the person who is interested can try the bed, he must take a quick course of anatomy and emotional preparation. Singing karaoke is also a part of the concept of healing because singing opens the soul. This countrywide business belongs to one of Pastor Sunday's followers and Victor works as a branch manager in one of them. He already has a few of these open. You can test the bed out for free several times before buying and it approximates at 2.5 thousand euros. It's a good investment because you can lease the bed out at hourly rates. Here we are introducing a new concept of healthier Ukraine. We drink water instead of vodka. We want to have a healthier and successful country. As for people who come here, they feel better already after their first hour. And after several visits, many people throw away their walking sticks and the short-sighted begin to see clear again. Miracles aren't alien to the Orthodox Church either, but Pastor Sunday and his followers pass all boundaries. It is more than a thousand years ago that Ukraine accepted Christianity as national religion. During the time of Soviet Union, the churches were persecuted, but present government guarantees freedom of religion. 
Although many practice an Orthodox religion, Protestant churches have lots of followers, especially among youth, as they don't know about the old Orthodox customs. For the Kiev Orthodox Patriarch Philaret, Pastor Sunday's church is devil incarnate. According to his words, he should preach in his homeland. Africa is a big continent and a huge field for the work of such people as Sunday Adelaja. But he has come here and uses our liberal religious law to propagate that which has nothing to do with the kingdom of heaven. It's a totalitarian sect. Sander Elijah has opened churches all over Ukraine. As he can't be everywhere at once, he communicates with people through internet. Someone is interested if we can listen to non-Christian music. Sunday answers that everything depends on the content of the song. Sundays would gladly help Russians to know God, but he is not allowed there. Of course, he says, if churches like ours begin to grow in Russia, then Kremlin will lose control, because our members are taught to be free, and instead of fearing rulers of this world, they only fear God. And if they have no fear, then they can't be controlled. That's why they're afraid of us. Pastor Sunday easily fills the sports complex which is situated on the east side of Kyiv. And his church has no financial problems because Pastor encourages everybody who can pay tithes, and many do this. After all, the donations are also a part of a God-fearing life.